Hello Hill College family. This is a first for me. Uh, I've decided the last communication I've had with you has been uh, through emails and I wanted to be a little more personal and try the digital media uh, and so here we go uh, with some digital communication. First of all, I just want to tell you, each and every one of you, how much I appreciate uh, all you're doing to embrace uh, the coronavirus as it is and uh, help our students transition to an online format. Uh, you guys have been rock stars, uh, and I know it hasn't been easy, but I appreciate your diligence uh, and your compassion for our students and also just the fact that you're taking care of yourselves uh, as well as our students. Last week, uh, the Board of Regents passed a resolution giving me uh, the authority to continue operations uh, while we're under this pandemic. And I really appreciate that. Um, as you know, we have a great board and they care about Hill College and uh, they care about uh, the success of our students. So I really appreciate them. Um, you all are to be commended on the front lines. Uh, there's a lot of people to thank. Uh, and I'd like to start um, with just thanking our coordinators, our directors, uh, our deans, our vice presidents uh, for the tireless hours that you're putting in um, and just the fact that you're making so many administrative decisions uh, that affect the entire uh, college community. Uh, you, you're in a lot of webinars um, and a lot of uh, Zoom meetings, uh, which has become the new norm. So thank you to those folks. Um, to our faculty, our educational support services staff, uh, instructional staff, you guys have been rock stars. Uh, I so appreciate the fact uh, that you embraced this, you got on it quickly, helped our students transition to an online format, uh, and that not only that, uh, to uh, our librarians for keeping the library open and helping our students that are still on campus. Thank you so much for that to our student services, external affairs department, as well as our administrative service staff. Thank you so much for the multiple, multiple resources that you're providing our students uh, to make them or help them to be successful. Uh, and to uh, just the communications department for helping us get the word out uh, and to talk about uh, the things uh, uh, that are uh, important for our students to know about COVID-19. Um, and then to our students, uh, thank you so much students for um, just staying the course and staying in touch with your faculty members and our support staff uh, and just hanging in there uh, and enduring this through completion of the end of the semester. Uh, to our community supporters, I want to thank you uh, just for allowing Hill College to be um, a resource for you and including us uh, in all of your conference calls uh, and keeping us informed as to what's happening in the community. And then lastly, I'd like to thank uh, SSC, all of our custodial staff, maintenance staff, uh, Great Western Dining, uh, fall at bookstore just for keeping our campuses clean uh, and coming up uh, to clean once we have uh, essential uh, uh, folks on campus to uh, take care of business. I really appreciate that. Um, Great Western Dining, uh, thank you for uh, providing meals for our residential students that are here on campus uh, and uh, just embracing them and, and helping to feed them. Uh, and Follett, thank you so much for all the multiple resources that you're providing our faculty and staff uh, to help support the online instruction. I really appreciate that. Um, 
my new norm uh, here at Hill College in the last few weeks has been uh, multiple webinars, uh, Zoom meetings uh, with the other 49 presidents uh, in the state. Uh, I'm meeting with the Higher Ed Coordinating Board, TEA, legislators, uh, Department of Education, numerous, numerous meetings to just get our head around uh, this unprecedented time. The thing that uh, I have found comfort in is that we're all in this together and um, we are making decisions together, uh, talking about best practices together, and uh, really lifting each other up. And that's, that's been a blessing to me. Uh, I'd also um, just want to say, uh, I know that this is difficult times uh, for everyone, uh, but you can find joy uh, in any um, chaotic situation. Uh, many of you know I write a, a monthly article in our local newspapers and this month it was really easy for me to write. Um, I wrote about finding joy in chaos and it's just crazy because it's been such uncertain times that I looked around and noticed that spring slipped in uh, the trees have greener leaves than I've ever seen. The blue bonnets are bluer than I've ever seen. And because I've been home some, uh, my 18-month-old grandson now knows the difference between a hummingbird and a butterfly. Uh, even in the midst of, of all the negativity, uh, joy can be found. Uh, all we are promised is right here, right now. And so I... I encourage you to look for joy and try to find some peace in all of this. Um, again, I want to thank you uh, for what you're doing on the front lines. I, I hope that you'll stay the course and embrace this and let's keep moving forward together. We are bigger, better, and stronger together and we will get through this together. Uh, so again, thank you and God bless you and better days are ahead, my friends.